Good evening, family. This is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth in the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divided never, with the green team in 19. We're one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. And my sister, first lady, had asked me, are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready. Because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Lee Jones. And the charge from that, my brother, the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was gonna represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's, and a law degree, and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green, to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for show, it's not something that I just do just because, it's who I am. And so I ask for each and every one of you to come out and support me. Um, and I ask that um, as we move forward together on line A, that we all support each other and uh, continue to remember what the real goals of East Orange are and ask to move it forward ever and backwards and ever. Thank you. Dribbles into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. Conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources, and they are arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. like a, a terrible tragedy, it's like, like a moth to a flame, but who's the moth, who's the flame? Come in, enjoy this heat. You wanna have. 
coming around me. You keep on coming around me. Your kiss is deadly. You sought me out and then you found me. You keep on coming around me. Why you keep trying to bow me? But you won't destroy me. We went Jamar Wise, Wise basketball training. So tell so me, we got what we got going on today, man. Uh, we in here. We're working on different skills. Uh, we're working on ball handling, shooting off the dribble, uh, different game type moves. All right, so we got Kelvin the bell the building, man. What, what you gonna do with him today, man? Uh, Kelvin, we're gonna work on his ball handling and work on his form. All right, any 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 potential with him, man? He he any good? He, yeah, very good player. Very good player. He's right outside. Right outside NBA play. Still working on it. All right. Well, we're going to see what we got today, man. <laughs> From the project, fucked around and got it poppin'. I'm like, fuck a Maserati, but my bitch a Bentley truck. G5, my blood brother, he be throwing bees up. And me, I got Chanel swag, you know I be seed up. I pay cash for every cup, you still be the laughing stock. Keep it real, that's why I'm flop. Look at me, I'm on the track, on the down, but I'm on top. I don't entertain and clock, play with me, you gon' get shot, for real. Now they can't resist us, he I'm tryna diss us. Really need to miss us, probably with your bitch, bro. I bought her a push off a piece of my endorsement. Richer than my classmate, she know how my kids taste. Now I'm on these cash rates, I can't come in last place. I didn't find me with G, the countless, I'm a taxpayer. So you know that mean I'm going hard, it's my last day. Still can get a thousand pounds a week, the gas weight. I got six watches, I'm ahead of time. I'm going all out, if it's about mine. I'm getting my shine on, I've been on my grind. Feel like I'm different, I'm one of a kind. Buy your Birkin bag, keep her up bar. Baby, you look better, nigga, you should take it off. Had to play my role, now I'm taking charge. Take out off a roll, make the Brody take the Been charge. Been doing that fan with them sticks, yeah. All these blues niggas assin' in my crib, yeah. Make a movie, act you out, ain't going tit-tat. 
Put a tag on your toe for all that chit chat. The richest nigga in my city, that's a big fact. And we don't do them little planes, we on the big jet. My dog still moving a cane and he ain't quit yet. I had to tell him when he came, don't bring no bricks back. Uh, feel like I'm the chosen one. Rose truck, I order one. I ain't mean to buy that bitch a watch, but I bought a one. Rich a milli cost a quarter milli, I got more than one. Effing on me lighter than a bitch, feel like a water gun. I got six watches, I'm ahead of time. I'm going all out if it's about mine. I'm getting my shine on, I've been on my grind. Feel like I'm different, I'm one of a kind. Buy your Birkin bag, keep her up bar. Baby, you look better, nigga, you should take it off. Had to play my role, now I'm taking charge. Just got off a roll, make the Brody take the charge. Living like a porn star, bro, let's do a point to us. Ops gonna join us, but we ain't switching sides. So, so Kelvin, what, what would the o- older Kelvin tell, go back and tell younger Kelvin? Um. It's a journey. Like, I mean, I mean, you got to keep going through certain things. I mean, it's adversity. I mean, just always keep good people around you. I mean, I was like, I was thankful to have great people like Jamar, uh, Leif Muhammad, my mother, obviously, like building a foundation for myself. Even my sister, I mean, trying to help her out and stuff like that. I mean, just continue to work. I mean, you never can stop. You never stop because it's, it's always somebody else is working. I always learned that somebody else is always working. You got to keep pushing. got to keep pushing. I mean, that's it. That's it. I- Hey, he's up, Brad. On the center. Hey. Oh! Rojas just took him and defeated him. Exclusive. Hey, he's up, Brad. On the center. Good evening, family. 
is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth and the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divide and never, with the green team in 19. We're one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. My sister, first lady, had asked me, are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Lee Jones. And the charge from that, my brother in the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was going to represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's, and a law degree, and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green, to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for show. It's not something that I just do just because. It's who I am. And so I ask for each and every one of you to come out and support me. Um, and I ask that um, as we move forward together on line A, that we all support each other and um, continue to remember what the real goals of East Orange are and ask to move it forward ever and backwards and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, so, Dribbles into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. Conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources, and they're arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. Good evening, family. This is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth in the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divide and never, with the green team in 19. We're one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. My sister, first lady, had asked me, are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready. Because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Lee Wood Jones. And the charge from that, my brother did the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was gonna represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's and a law degree and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for sure. Yeah. 
the New Bethel Baptist Church. We are here to experience the Word of God and reveal how God blesses His people. In the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, is known as the Song of Moses. Many of you have heard my sermon from chapter 32, verses 11 through 12, entitled, The Eagle Stirred the Nest. That sermon reflects on how God takes care of his children. God has blessed my daughter Aretha mightily. She has been blessed with a gifted voice that stirs the soul. Can I get a church say amen? amen? I came today to let you know that this is going to be the last time my daughter will be singing with the New Bethel Baptist Church Choir. I have already gone to God and asked him to bless her. Today I am giving her my final blessing. Now I need you to give her your blessing. Are you ready to bless her? Yes. Today I believe Aretha is the eagle and you and the world are the nest. Is anybody here ready to be stirred up by Aretha's voice? Yes. Is anybody here ready?
I would travel with him on the weekends. When I was about 14 or 15 years old, he would give me $50 each time. I sung one or two songs before he would get up to minister the church. It was quite exciting. I had a chance to meet a lot of big celebrities. Sam Cooke, Cap Calloway, James Cleveland, and R. Taylor, just to name a few. My favorite singers was Cora Ward and Mahalia Jackson. After seeing Sam Cooke's successful transition from gospel to secular, I decided that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to sing secular music so it could reach the world. I gained a lot of experience on the road with my father. Then I decided to let him know that I wanted to change fields. He told me if that's what I wanted to do, that's what I should do. You're a liar, you're a liar. 
one comparison. It was this one tangible example of black power. And the only thing that we could touch the man as profoundly as any civilized people. You got Jones for that. That could tell you more about the reason than they could tell you about the civil rights movement. I could be a reason in the 60s. I'm not saying you can't hear now, but then I could hear three or four times an hour. Well, I've never heard things except on the news. Dr. Keating was a wonderful, wonderful, fine man as well as a civil rights leader. And me and my dad were great friends. My dad brought him to Detroit and introduced him to the city of Detroit uh, through the New Bethel Baptist Church. If Matt needed money, he could make a phone call to, to Reverend Franklin, and that money was there. Also, that Reverend Franklin could de deliver his daughter over whatever record executives or managers would say. I think that was uh, Reverend's uniqueness. Uh, you didn't go through an agent to get a reason. You went through a day. And he definitely had an appreciation for gospel music. One of his favorite songs was Precious Letter of Me. They always asked me to sing that for him. <laughs>
Jesus came through with the new image uh, of Aretha had been dead. Don't play that song for me 
Good evening, family. This is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth in the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divided never, with the green team in 19, with one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. And my sister, first lady, had asked me, are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Lee Rogel. And the charge from that, my brother, in the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was going to represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's, and a law degree, and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green, to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for show. It's not something that I just do just because. It's who I am. And so I ask for each and every one of you to come out and support me. Um, and I ask that um, as we move forward together on line A, that we all support each other and um, continue to remember what the real goals of East Orange are, and that's to move it forward ever and backwards and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, understand? Dribbles into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. Conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources, and they're arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. And you 
What's going on? Oh my God! Oh my God!
Good evening, family. This is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth in the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divided never, with the green team in 19, with one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. And my sister, first lady, had asked me, are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Lee Jones. And the charge from that, my brother did the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was going to represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's, and a law degree, and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green, to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for show. It's not something that I just do just because. It's who I am. And so I ask for each and every one of you to come out and support me. Um, and I ask that um, as we move forward together on line A, that we all support each other and uh, continue to remember what the real goals of East Orange are, and that's to move it forward ever and backwards and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. Conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city.
perhaps she had kind of gotten uh, used to him being in a vegetable state before his death. Uh, so perhaps she kind of expected it, yet I think it certainly was uh, trauma because she was close. We all were looking at her and saying, oh, she's going to fall apart, you know, but, you know, because she had a little bit of problems before then. And uh, we just thought she had been really going to uh, a fit for her going, you know, go off, really. I knew it's taking it to go off. But she, uh, she really had to quite well many years ago. My dad told me, he said, one day, you will sing the Kings and Queens. I have. And the Kings and Queens are here tonight. Oh, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. But the song is so very much.
changing. And a lot of people believe that my time is up as a successful artist. Some people believe that the music I sang and the topics that I chose to sing about were outdated. However, I knew I had much more to give them. So I signed to Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records helped me not only find a new sound, but it put me in a whole new category. On July 27, 1984, my father, Reverend C.L. Franklin, died. He had been in a coma for five years after being shot in a home robbery. This was the one of the most toughest times of my life. But I knew I couldn't give up because that wouldn't have been what he wanted me to do. There were many celebrities at his funeral where I sang my song, Amazing Grace.
two presidential awards from, of freedom from both Presidents Bush and Clinton. I have sold over 72 million albums throughout my whole career, but my proudest moment is when I was invited to sing at the inauguration of the first black president of the United States of America. Barack Obama on January 28th, 2009. I am thankful for the wonderful opportunities the good law has blessed me with. I'm thankful for my four children and their children. I'm thankful for the people that have been have blessed have been blessed because of my music. Gospel music has always and is my favorite music to sing. Gospel music is a part of who I am. If I had a chance to change it, I wouldn't change a thing. Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, passed away in her home on August 16, 2018, at 76 years old after a quiet battle with pancreatic cancer. Franklin's music career spanned nearly six decades and set innumerable records. The first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Franklin sold more than 75 million records and was nominated for 44 Grammy Awards, taking home 18 of them. But her accomplishments don't stop there. At 52 years old, Franklin became the then youngest person to earn a Kennedy Center honor. And in 2005, President George W. Bush honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Obviously, there are plenty of reasons to R-E-S-P-E-C-T a
this is the time for community school with the corporate fine arts. We have to thank you guys for coming out. I have to show you some music that went to Mr. Bell. We love that you guys came to celebrate. I love the Aretha Franklin, but the truth about it, we came to celebrate all of the fun of our students. So, let's give all of our students a round of applause. Let's go. I want to see the bells that play the Mother Lord speaking to Aretha. Let's give them a round of applause. Mother Lord, come on. Jerusalem, we dance.
got he's not here right now, but his team, Mr. Lemon, and our production team. Where's our production team? Acknowledge my head of this 
principal and not leader, my principal and not that. This is her dream, this is her brainchild from the first day I met her. She said, Mr. Bell, I want to produce a black user production for, the, for our district. She did it, she put it all together, she supported us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the greatest principal in the world. I'm here on this. Good evening, family. This is Mustafa Brent, your councilman, hailing from the mighty fifth in the great city of East Orange. We want to welcome you all to an opportunity to join us as we move forward together, divided never, with the green team in 19. We're one city, one community, with one goal, and that's progress. I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for your continued support. God bless. My sister, first lady, had asked me are you ready? And I answered her by saying, yes, I'm ready. Because our great chairman planted the seed back in 1986. And that seed was charged with the students from Jobs 100, and I am the first graduate of Jobs 100 through our chairman, Leroy Jones. And the charge from that, my brother, in the mighty fifth, was to get your education first and come home and represent. It wasn't that I was gonna represent immediately, but it was gonna represent. So standing before you, that seed went on and graduated with a BA, a master's, and a law degree, and came home to join my brother, the Honorable Mayor Ted Green, to serve our community. I stand here assuring you that public service is not something, not something that I do for show, it's not something that I just do just because, it's who I am. And so I ask for each and every one of you to come out and support me. Um, and I ask that um, as we move forward together on line A, that we all support each other and um, continue to remember what the real goals of East Orange are and that's to move it forward ever and backwards and ever. Thank you. into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. Conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources and they are arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources.